Hi everyone and welcome to episode number 10 of our ConfigMess 2023. My name is Johan and in this demo you will learn to create, deploy and install ConfigMan applications using PowerShell. And that means of course demo time. So when working in a ConfigMan environment it's often really useful to have a few test applications and test packages, etc., available that you can deploy to test deployments, to verify distribution, etc., without having the apps actually do anything on the device, other than whatever is required for the detection method to work. So here I have a PowerShell script that I use to create a bunch of test applications. In the beginning of the script, I'm just setting some variables. What I would like to prefix the name of the applications to be, my site server, what collection I want to deploy them to, and what distribution point group I would like to distribute them to. So if I set these variables, I'm good to go there. Now, what I have here is a little snippet that enumerates a bunch of folders. So if I highlight this variable, so you can see I have a list of folders. If I go to that location, you can see it's just a bunch of folders and each of these folders have one or more files. For example, if I go to the uh, five gig single file package, there is an ISO collection about five gigs in size. If I go to my uh, 100 meg multiple files, I have an Opera installer that I added to this folder. But bottom line, I have real content in these folders. And if I go back to the script, you will see that for each folder in that list of folders, it's going to use that information to create these applications, create the deployment type, move it to the correct folder, distribute the content, and actually deploy the application, in this case, as an available application. And it's going to use the name of that folder as the name of the app, as the name of the deployment type, and to generate on the fly the detection script that the application needs. So long story short, you simply run this snippet here, you take a coffee break, and when you come back, you have a bunch of applications ready and deployed in Config Manager. Now, since I ran this script, I have gone ahead and removed some of the deployments. So right now, I only have a few applications that are actually being deployed that has a one in the deployment column here. And the beautiful thing about the applications in Config Manager is that I can also install them through PowerShell. So if I go over here, I have an install application deployment script. First of all, I'm telling it which remote machine I want to run it on. I have a function that will be run on the client that Timmy Anderson wrote initially, and I borrowed it. But this is calling a config manager function on the client side to install a given name of an application or an application deployment. Then in this script, I have some, what I call utility blocks. So this script is not something I run just the entire script on its own. I use this script as a tool where I run different sections in the script when needed. So for example, here is a script block that will clear out the config manager cache. Here is a script block that will get some information about the cache. Here is a script block that will clear the event log, the bits event log. Because when you download applications in config manager, it's using bits to download those applications. Here is a script that will simply give me the number of events in the bits event log. And here is a script that gives me a little bit more details about the deployments. And I'm actually filtering specifically for config manager deployments that come from a distribution point. Now, there are a lot of other bits log as well, so I'm just using this to filter away uh, some of the data there. But anyhow, I can go ahead and run these script blocks one by one, but I'm going to first run this section here. And then I can go ahead and clear the config manual cache on that device. I can get information from it. Not very surprisingly, nothing is used. I just cleared it. I have 50 gig available. I can clear the bits event log remotely. And 
not very surprisingly, I have zero entries since I just cleared it. If you have applications like this one that is using a single file as a detection method, so if I have already done this before, sure enough, I have to go ahead and delete that file. Otherwise the application will think it's already installed. But then I can go ahead and install that application remotely. Just like this. So what happens now is a few things. First of all, the client will start to download content. So if I go to the data transfer log file remotely on that device, you can see that it just downloaded that application. If I go to the cache, which is the cache log, you can see that it also put it in the config manager client cache. This is the folder on the client where the content was saved. And if I open up the app enforce log, it will show me now that the application actually was installed on that device. And that means that if I would open up the uh, admin dollar temp on that device, sure enough, that text file was created, indicating that the application was successfully installed. If I go back to my script here, I can also review some information about the download. And it will now tell me that this was the file it was downloading. Absolutely, that was the video file I had in that package. This was the bytes total of the package. This is how much that was transferred. And this indicates that it came from a source, meaning a distribution point, not from a peer in this case. But can you expand on this? Absolutely, yes. For example, you can have a static list of remote machines. For each computer in that list, go ahead and install that application. Or you can ask a config manager collection. Hey, give me all machines that are active in that collection. Three machines. and do something for them. Again, install the application. Or why not simply ask Config Manager for available application deployments? Like this one here, we'll ask Config Manager for app deployments. I can see how many I have deployed. Two, okay. Which ones? Well, these two. And then for each app in that list, go ahead and install them. Or combining them. For each list of remote computers, go ahead and install a list of applications. So you can actually do large scale testing this way as well. Just making sure that content is working, deployments are working, without interrupting any user with uh, any real installation that happens, like an MSI being installed, etc. These scripts that I have been demonstrating here, you will find them on the ConfigMAS 23 episode number 10 repository. And as I mentioned earlier, I will put the link here in the description below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining, and I hope to see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.